We now want to bring you that exclusive report from Alabama as One American News has discovered shocking ties between Roy Moore accusers and a major news net network, a major news organization. Now, One America's Pearson Sharp has the exclusive details and reveals how one woman's ties to drug dealers throws her whole story into question. New information is coming to light regarding Judge Roy Moore's accusers and throws suspicion on their motivations for accusing him. Former Alabama police officer Faye Gary previously came forward claiming she was told to be on the lookout for Judge Moore at school games. In her story, Gary claims Moore was known to harass the cheerleaders at sporting events and even targeted female employees at the Gadsden Mall. Our own research revealed no truth behind the claims against Moore at the mall. In fact, when we spoke to mall employees, no one there even knew anything about it. But new evidence has emerged and suggests that Faye Gary has a personal axe to grind with Roy Moore. While Gary claims to have been a police officer in the city of Gadsden, she also has a number of close ties to the underground world of the illicit drug business. One America News researched the case and found that in 2008, her son Cordero Gary was arrested for distributing drugs. But before he could ever make it to trial, he was shot and killed. Her other son, Tracy Jones, is now in a federal prison for distributing cocaine. And while Gary was supposedly working for law enforcement, those who knew her say they had to keep a tight lip when she was around. Apparently, Gary was well known for leaking information about police and drug enforcement activities to her drug dealing family. Matters get even more personal when her brother, Jimmy Wright, comes into the picture. Wright was also big in the drug business and was arrested for distributing controlled substances back in 1981. The prosecutor for that case? Roy Moore. Not only that, but Moore would go on to make another potentially powerful enemy out of Richard Hagdorn, a criminal and convicted drug dealer who was caught with over two pounds of cocaine. When Hagdorn got out of prison, he came before Judge Moore on contempt charges because he owed back alimony and child support. Judge Moore ruled against him on May 18, 1994 for contempt. Hagdorn was fined $50,000 and is still paying back alimony and child support to this day. But more interesting than his convictions are his relations. Richard's brother is none other than David Hagdorn, a longtime editor for the Washington Post. The same post that broke the story about Moore's alleged involvement with underage girls nearly 40 years ago. It's not clear what the connection could be between Hagdorn and the publication of the sexual allegations, but it's a coincidence that, along with the unlikely timing of the accusations, throws the entire case into question. Faye Gary's testimony also begs the question, if she knew about Roy Moore's alleged behavior all these years, why not come forward sooner? After all, she wasn't personally a victim, and her statements, if true, could have spared other girls from a supposed sexual predator. This latest evidence sheds new light on the mainstream media's portrayal of Faye Gary as a brave informant standing up for women's rights. In reality, Gary is a far left-wing activist with suspiciously close connections to illegal drug dealers and what appears to be a vendetta to get revenge against Roy Moore. Pearson Sharp, One American News.